Hello and welcome. I hope you're doing well. My name is Mina and today we're going to go through a yoga practice to amplify joy. So in Western medicine, there's a lot of focus on what is wrong with us and let's fix the stuff that's wrong with us. Uh, but in practices like yoga and Qigong as well, there is more a preventative focus as well as looking at the things that are already good or working within us, such as health and joy. So I thought today we can move in a way that amplifies joy and really appreciates already the joy and the life force energy that's already within us. Good. If you'd like to join me, come into a seat. I'm sitting on two cushions today to give me ample of height, straight spine can also sit cross-legged on the floor, on a blanket, or you can always come into a chair. Good. Let's start by rubbing our hands together. Create some heat, some warmth, waking up the fingers and the palms of the hands. And then dropping one hand onto the belly, one hand to the heart. To arrive here on your mat. Notice how you are feeling in this moment, emotionally, physically, mentally. And also starting to notice your breath. And just allowing the hands on your belly and your heart to give you some natural feedback on how the breath is flowing in and out. And as you observe your breath here, I'm going to speak a little bit more about the principle of spanda in yoga. So spanda is the principle of pulsation. And it's the pulsation of the fabric of the universe. And as it expands and contracts and repeats this, it allows it to be creative, to grow, to increase joy, bliss, ecstasy. And it's always there. It's always there in the background. It's always pulsating. So like the universe, nothing in our life is really linear. There's always an expansive phase and then a contractive phase. But through this repetition of growth and shrinking back down, there is still a spiraling upward motion of growth. So today we're going to tap into that through the breath, or the mimicking this pulsation through the breath. And here as your hands are touching your belly and your heart, you may be able to feel that with an inhale you're Body's becoming a little bit taller, a little bit more expansive. And as you exhale, there's a sense of softening and shrinking. I'm going to mimic and amplify that through movements and slowly work towards filling up our lungs with joy, a sense of ease. Good. Maybe you like to bow your chin in towards your heart center, set an intention for today, or maybe just to spend one moment dedicating this session to someone. Good. Taking one more deep breath in and out. Good. And then you can gently open your eyes, gaze forward. And we're going to start by creating a little flower bud with our hands. So this is where we start to connect the breath with this movement of expansion and contraction. So you can imagine your favorite, favorite flower as your hand. And as we inhale, this flower blossoms. And as you exhale, this flower comes back into its bud shape. So as you inhale, flower opens and exhale to close. And you can start small. If 
finding the sinking movement of the breath with the hands. And you can really visualize the flower opening up and then closing back down. Good. Wonderful. So as you can see, my hands are sort of moving up as I inhale. And with the exhale, the hands are coming down. Good. And I'm going to step, slowly start to naturally amplify this. As I inhale, the breath moves into the body. Flower opens, maybe the hands move up a little bit. And as I exhale, I'm contracting also in my spine. I'm rounding as I inhale. The breath comes into my belly, to the ribs, into the heart. The flower opens. And as I exhale, the surrounding. Do it a few more times like this. Inhale, opening the flower. Maybe you're getting a little bit bigger. And exhale, the flower is closing back up. Last time like this. Inhale, open. And exhale. Good. I'm starting to take the hands away from one another. Inhale. Opening palms facing up. And as I exhale, as the flower is closing, palms are moving down. Still the sense that the inhale, the arms and your heart, the flower blossoms open. And as you exhale, the hands turn down. They're still closing of the flower. Inhale. Starting to really involve the spine like in cat cow, opening the heart. And exhale, arms into internal rotation as you round the spine. A few more times like this. And letting the breath arrive organically. Maybe you're moving slower or faster than I am. And all the while really focusing on filling up the lungs. Creating bit by bit more expansion, more contraction. Last time. Good. And then you can come back to neutral. Check in for a moment. Maybe there's already a sense of opening in the area of the heart. Maybe the belly feels more, a little bit more free. And if your movements don't look exactly like mine, don't worry. You have your own flower. And we're going to move on to hands and knees. I'm going to place a blanket under my knees just to pat the knees up a little bit more. Good. And then once you arrive on hands and knees, making sure your knees are underneath your hips. Your wrists underneath your shoulders, spread the fingers, good. And from that same place of the flower blossoming and closing, I'm going to move into cat cow. So as you inhale, your flower blossoms, your heart expands. And as you exhale, the flower closes. Inhale again. There's a blossoming that's starting in the belly. The breath is moving to the ribs, into the heart. Maybe gaze follows. And as you exhale, there's a contraction, the flower closing up. Good. A few more times. You can even close your eyes and see how it feels like to move from this visual of the flower opening and closing. Probably a movement you've done before. But see if you can really let the breath and this image of blossoming start to move you. Last round. Good, and then slowly coming back to center. And from the same place of initiation, we're going to inhale, reach the right fingertips up. And exhale, let the flower close back down, other side, inhale, breath moving into the belly, the ribs, the heart, flower blossoming. Exhale, flower closing back up. Inhale, 
opening the blossom. Exhale, closing back down. And maybe your range of motion is quite small to begin with. That's fine. Every time you move, and every time you repeat this pulsation, there's a sense of room, a sense of wiggling a little bit more space in between the cells. Last round, inhale, blossoming the right side. Exhale, closing the flower body. Last time, inhale, left side. And exhale, closing the flower. And then moving into child's pose for a moment just to rest the arms. Perhaps you like to stack your fists. If child's pose is uncomfortable for you, you can also stay more in a puppy pose so that the knees have a little bit more space. Wherever you are, still following the breath and noticing that even in this quite contracted, closed off position, there's still the expansion of an inhale and then the contraction within the contractive pose. Inhale still blossoms you, opens up the back body, creates space. And exhale still allows you to go with gravity to soften. Last round. Wonderful. Let's replace the hands down onto the floor. And I'm going to step my right foot in between the hands to come into a lunge. I'm going to grab two blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can also place a chair in front of you so that you feel a little bit more stability. Good. I'm going to inhale, move the hips forward to open the heart. And as I exhale, I'm going to move the hips backward doesn't have to be the full range of motion. And again, we're going to combine this movement with a sense of the flower opening up as we inhale, moving the hips forward, perhaps gazing forward, perhaps allowing the heart to open a little bit more. And as you exhale, you're softening, you're contracting, you're retracting. Inhale, opening up the flower. Exhale, softening, closing. A few more times. And again, especially in this class, not about the deepest range of motion, but about initiating the movement from the breath and really getting those two opposing qualities of expansion and contraction within the movement. Good. Next time your hips are forward, you can find your balance. Come up into a lunge. Nice. And we're going to move the arms here. So even more opening through the front of the heart as you inhale, open the heart. Cactus arms squeezing the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, there's a gentle contraction. Let's hug ourselves this time. Oops, finding your balance. Inhale, open the heart. Cactus arms reaching the heart open. And exhale, softening, rounding, hugging yourself. A few more. Inhale, really lift the heart. Allow the flower to blossom. And exhale, having a moment of contraction so that you can grow even bigger the next time. Inhale, hips moving forward. Heart moving forward, perhaps gaze follows. Exhale, round, soften. Good. Good. From here, you can replace the hands onto the blocks. I'm going to keep my left knee where it is. I'm just going to point my toes to the right. And that way, 
my hips are open to the side. And again, I can bring the block closer, find the right stance for me. Good. It's like a variation of a side angle pose. So from here, we're going to inhale, bend the elbows, open the heart. And as you exhale, you can extend the arm above the head. Inhale again, finding maybe just tiny back bend to open the heart. And as you exhale, there's a sense of length, but also closure. Inhale, blossoming the heart open. Exhale, lengthening through the side, but there's a gentle tuck in the pelvis. Inhale to open. Exhale. Wonderful last round. Good, and this time as you exhale, left hand reaches forward, back onto the blocks. Good. And let's simply switch sides. You can step the right knee back, left foot forward, right knee underneath the hips, and I'm gonna grab the blocks for a little bit more balance. Again, you can have your chair in front of you. And then again, starting to move the hips forward on your inhale and backwards on your exhale. And as you do that, finding the sense of expansion, opening of the flower as you move forward. And exhale, softening, contracting as you move back. Inhale to blossom the flower. The breath moves in from the belly. Up and as you exhale, softening, closing back up. Good. A few more times at your own pace. Still perhaps visualizing your favorite flower. That's opening. And closing. Good. So we need both. We need the expansion. And we also need phases of contraction to be able to really grow. Good. Next time your hips are forward, stay there. Find your balance. Come up. And we'll cactus our arms again, bending the elbows. And as you inhale, this time opening the heart a little bit more, perhaps leaning back. And as you exhale, you can soften and hug yourself, rounding the spine. Inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades together, allowing this growth to be organic. Don't force the flower open. And as you exhale again, softening. A few more times. See how fluidly you can move through the spine. And maybe your movement looks different to mine and that's totally fine. Still finding a sense of Expansion through the front body, opening yourself up. And as you exhale, you soften. Good, last time. Really soaking up the joy, the expansion, and allowing some softness in between. And if you've finished here, you can replace the hands onto the blocks. Again, we're gonna move into the side angle variation Right knee stays where it is, just the toes pointing to the left, which opens my hip out to the side. The block can walk a little bit closer towards you. You can also move your left foot to find a little bit of balance. Good. Again, elbow bent to open the heart as you inhale. And as you exhale, fingertips reaching above the head creates space. Inhale, opening the heart. Perhaps you're gazing up. And exhale, there's a sense of closing, maybe even looking down a little bit as you extend the right arm, inhale to open up the side. Exhale, close. Inhale, flower blossom. And exhale, lengthening through the right side, last round, inhale, open the heart. And exhale, this time you can gaze down, replace the hand onto the block. And again, coming back onto all fours. Let's tuck the toes under for one downward facing dog. You can always remain in puppy. 
If you're ready, you can lift your hips up and back. Release the head, walk it out. Normally you'd say no socks in yoga, but it's cold. <laughs> My mat is very sticky. Good. Uh, maybe there's some noises coming out of you, let them come out. Good. And then from your downward facing dog, walking your feet to the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart and a forward fold. You can bend your knees. Release the head. Nice. Moving it side to side if you like. Good. And then rolling up one vertebra at a time at your pace. Good. And then once you're standing there, Really appreciating the fact that you're standing on both feet. Finding the weight distributed nicely over the center between both legs, front and center, front and back. Good. And then we're going to face you. You can keep your feet hip width distance apart and let's interlace the hands behind the back. To open the heart a little bit more. Good. And you can wiggle even here a little bit side to side. Nice. Catching a little bit more space in between the ribs. Wiggling yourself up. Nice. And then slowly release the hands. Good. And we're going to repeat the flower blossoming or this movement that we did on the ground. This time standing, it's gonna feel a little bit different. Make sure your feet are a little bit wider than hip width distance apart and your knees are soft. And we're gonna inhale again, allowing the breath to move into the torso as your arms come into an external rotation. There's your heart lift. And exhale, there's a rounding and the shoulders sort of collapse. Inhale, opening. And exhale, collapse and softening. Inhale, flower blossoming. And exhale, flower closing. And you can exaggerate this movement so much that you're coming into a forward fold. Inhale, open, prep a little bit of the back. But exhale, forward fold. And then you can change the arms that they circle through center. Inhale, and exhale, arms are through the side. And then rolling up, inhale. And exhale, through blossoming, back down to closing. Inhale, rolling up. The spine opening the heart at the top of the inhale. And the exhale flows you back down a few more times. Inhale, rounding the spine, blossoming the flower at the top of the inhale. And then exhale, feeling the closing last time. Good, and then you can come back to a neutral spine. Roll it up and just notice how you feel here. Maybe there's a little bit more tingling, the electromagnetic field around your heart, which is way stronger than that of your brain. It could be pulsating a little bit stronger now. Nice. And you have two alternate endings to this class. You can finish here. You're standing. I hope you feel amplified in your joy and your life force energy. And you can go into your day. Or you can wind it back down with me if it's more towards the end of your day and you'd like to tone it back down. So if you'd like to continue with me, 
can come back to the top of the mat, feet hip width distance apart. Let's inhale, reach thumbs out and up. And then exhale to fold down. Good, place your hands down to the ground and then step back into a downward facing dog. You can come right away into a child as well. Good. And then we meet down on the ground in child's pose, just for a moment. I'm gonna place my fists underneath my forehead. Good. And then I will come up. So we're gonna come onto our bellies, but today I'm going to um, fold the blanket so it's quite thick and I'm gonna place it under my pubic bone and hip bones. So the thighs are not on the blanket, but my pubic bone and my thigh bones, are, hip bones are. And I'm gonna come into sphinx pose with the elbows underneath my shoulders or slightly further forward. I'm just breathing in sphinx pose for a moment. And there's always a sense of pressing your pubic bone into the ground to lengthen the lower back. Nice. And just noticing what happens here as you breathe. Even in this position when the heart is quite open, there's a sense of expansion as you inhale. And a sense of contraction as you exhale. Good. You can stay here and breathe and soften your heart forward with every uh, exhale. Good. Or you can move the hands a little bit more open to the side and extend your elbows. And again, we're going to breathe here with every inhale. There's breath growing into your torso. The flower opens. And as you exhale, there's a softening even this position. Your shoulder blades move towards one another. Your heart melts. Again, inhale. There's growth. There's some tallness and an expansion. And as you exhale, there's a softening. Shoulder blades moving towards one another. Heart melting. A few more. Inhale. My legs can also get a little bit active to feel that I'm stretching through the crown of the head, through the toes. And exhale, there's a softening, shrinking, contracting. Last round. Expanding, blossoming, and exhale. Closing, this time you can lower your elbows down. And come all the way onto your belly. You can stack the hands to release your forehead. Shake your hips side to side. The blanket's uncomfortable underneath your hips. You can also move it aside. And just checking in how your spine feels. Beautiful. Allowing the breath to massage your kidneys. Nice. And I'm going to slowly press myself back onto all fours. And I will use this blanket one more time. I will reopen it and then roll it up into a little burrito. And today I'm going to place it lengthwise on the mat. I'm going to come into a final restorative position or a passive position. I'm going to bring my sacrum pretty close to the beginning of this roll and then slowly come on to lying on this blanket. And it's not the deepest most extreme heart opener. There's more intense passive heart openers. But this finds a nice balance, I think, between still opening, 
but also softness. There isn't too much tension in the front of the body. Wonderful. And here you can lean more into the softening aspect of this, or the closing aspect of the flower as we move towards the end of the class. You can allow for more contraction, softening, And just as, as it is important to become active and expansive and outward and joyous, it's important to soften and digest and retreat sometimes. Now, although this class is called Amplifying Joy, it's crucial to Become aware that that joy is only there because there's also times of more contractive feelings. And that it's okay to fluctuate between those. And that if we can digest the feelings that are a little bit more contracting, softening, going more with gravity. It's the only then that we can, next time we blossom, blossom even more, blossom more authentically, blossom in a way that can only be you. Good, and as you allow your heart to open and shine from a place of Surrender. I invite you to stay here for another few minutes. However, if you'd like to You can take Shavasana here in this position. However, if this is a little bit too open for you, you can bend your knees. Roll over to one side to get the blanket out. And then lie straight back down. Palms facing up. and digest here in this neutral position or any other position where you feel that you can truly let go. Shavasana. Now when you're ready, you can 
slowly start to deepen the breath. Feel the presence of your body in the room. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Stretching in any way that you would like. Yawning. And then eventually rolling on to one side. Just close the front of the body. Do a lot of heart opening. So making sure you're closed enough that you can encounter the world outside. And if you like to drop anything into the floor that you don't want to take throughout the rest of the day or into your sleep, do that here. Nice. And then as lazily as possible, coming back into a seat of your choice. Finding an upright spine. And let's one more time rub the hands into one another. The way we started the class, bringing one hand onto belly, one hand onto heart. Checking if anything has changed without judging. Good, and I'd like to bow my chin in towards your heart, towards my heart center. And I'd like to bow my chin in towards my heart center in a gesture of gratitude towards you for taking this time to share this practice with me. Thank you very much.